Trey, on what, what, uh, well, you, you've been doing great. What do you think of your uh, redshirt freshman quarterback? Well, I think he's playing good. You know, he, um, he's stepping up when his number was called. You know, he's humble. He take coaching. When he make mistakes, he don't get down on himself. He's playing, playing like a leader. What would you tell him about going on the road, his first start on the road? Uh, treat every game the same. You know, just stay humble. Just uh, do what Coach tell you to do. Look at your reads. You know, don't get down on yourself. You make, make a mistake, like I said. Just you know, keep leading and keep being him. Trayon, you've obviously carved out a nice role on this team. Was there ever a point in the last year, uh, maybe year and a half, where you sat down with Mark Rick for Thomas Brown and said, do I have a role on this team? Is it best that I stay here? Should I transfer? No, I never talked about transfer. I never, I never. My mama always told me never quit when things get hard. I never transfer. Uh, I sat down with Coach Brown and asked him uh, what's the best, best role for me to play. And he said, we got an open spot at fullback. I can learn it. I can be a big role on the team. So I took it. Well, wherever I could play, I told him I'll play. Was this after last season? Yes, sir. Trayon, you're one of the veterans on this team. Obviously, you guys are coming off such an emotional game, rivalry, home, everything like that. Now, it's it's kind of a different matchup this week. How do you make sure that there's no emotional letdown for some of these younger guys that are going to kind of take this test now for the first time? Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a game for the coast. You know, we just can't take them lightly. Uh, it's on the road, so we got to keep preparing, keep the way we practice, the way we're going to play. So we just got to keep practicing hard throughout the week and uh, do everything Coach tells us to do and we'll be fine. Is it a little easier to kind of make that focus because it's a road game because you guys know that you're going into that environment? No, nah, sometimes the road game be the hardest um, than home because, you know, we got the home for, uh, field advantage. <laughs> so on the road, we just got to, you know, don't listen to the fans, just stay focused and do, uh, do everything our, our Coach tells us to do and do our assignments. This week, you know, you guys got the news about Amon, just kind of on a personal level. How did you feel when you heard that news? And, you know, how do you feel right now for Amon? What did you say? Uh, talk to him about? I feel bad because, you know, Amon's such a great player. He could have had a bright future uh, going to the next level. Uh, we just, uh, it's going to be good because he's going to be around, you know, still showing support. And we're going to be here for him. We just got to play through Amon, play for him. He can be a leader. He can be a guy who can almost be like a, a, like a player coach. Yeah, like a player play. coach, just like Malik. You know, Amon always vocal. He was a good leader, you know. He always helping kids out if they need help uh, to play and stuff like that. So losing them all was, was tough on us, but I think he'll be around and help us out a lot. Have you had a chance to talk to him yet? And know how, do you know how he's doing? Uh, I seen him yesterday. I talked to him. Just told him keep his head up. God got a plan for him. You know, don't give up. We're gonna be here if you need him. If, we, if he need us, but no, I ain't really talked to him. Like, how did he seem when you saw him? He was a little down, but you know, you always Amon are proud. But he always keep his head up. You know, if it's not wrong one, you will never know. So that's all right. Okay, how impressed are you with, uh, with some of the freshmen, like Brevin Jordan? Sorry, how impressed are you with Brevin Jordan? Uh, I'm really, I'm, I'm really impressed. Like Brevin, big time player. He's gonna, he gonna be doing big things in the future. Also, uh, Brevin, you know, he's the lead. He had to take on the starting role. You know, he's a young guy. He never complained. Even was he was a star, but now he's starting. He's become the leader. He vocal. He worked hard. He worked at this very good. I'm proud the, of him. The other day we saw Perry throw three late touchdown passes to bring you guys back. When a quarterback does that especially so early in his career. What's the impact on the other guys as far as building confidence that he can do it again? Uh, the impact is, is good. It shows that we got a guy that can make all the throws. Uh, also, the defense, like, uh, like that. I think they like playing uh, close to real hard. When he makes them touch down, they, you know, they, they bring the momentum to us and defense play even harder. Even they're playing great already, but close to making the passes just let us know that we're just being good hands. And you can say about DJ Dallas, what he's brought to this, to this team. Uh, DJ Dallas, he that leader. He you know he younger than me. That's little him a little bro. But DJ Dallas, like he like oh he like an older guy. He like a veteran. He bring the edge. He always go hard. He, you know DJ Dallas very vocal. You know one guy, man. What was it like to Last see question. the tradition of the U back for the Florida State game, and especially back in the locker room after that win? Uh, it was a big win for us. You know uh, we had a couple years we lost to them in a back to back to back, but now we got that win streak, and they got to try to get it back for us now. You know to bring tradition back for us winning. Feel good, good for the uh, Miami, good for the in the locker room. We had a lot of fun after the game. You know, it was real good to be back. Great, thank you, John. Great.